Hi y'all, we are shooting for our book club cards, which is so exciting. We are at the house, which is literally so cute. Keen's future home, it's so perfect. If I could live here, this would be my home in Texas. Mm -hmm. And we'd be neighbors. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm making some coffee. Today is Wednesday. I just got back in town yesterday. I, oh, oh God. I was out of town the past couple of days. I got back yesterday and I just had a lot of catch up work. Oh my God, at this point, y'all know about the book club cards. So, hold on. It's actually not that bad. Bush black, but why would I drink that when I could drink this? Were you guys around when I used to drink my coffee black? Isn't that so crazy? I went through this phase in college where we would do the Daniel fast and you could drink coffee like where I was at but you couldn't drink creamer so basically I stopped drinking creamer in my coffee and I just like didn't go back to it for years and now look at me I'm like the spokeswoman for Calafia Farms like that stuff is good like life is short drink some creamer you know what I mean I do actually like the taste of black coffee sometimes so at this point y'all know about our book club cards which are oh my gosh right here hold on these are our new product. They are dropping on Thursday. Every time I host book club, I hate looking for questions. It's so hard to find good questions online that are also like generic and boring. The questions for book club just basically suck. So okay, these are really unorganized because these are the sample and we use them for the shoe. <sighs> these are our collaboration with one of my best friends, Keaton Milburn. She is a fellow reader girly herself. She's actually gonna be back on the podcast this week. I'm gonna link for those of you who are watching like in real time right this second. We have an old book episode. We have a book series on my podcast, Houseguest Podcast Book Club. No? If you don't know, we have a book series on my podcast, the House Guest Podcast, which we have a YouTube channel that I will be linking below. I will link our book episode with Keaton and then set your alarms for Thursday. Keaton's coming on and it's the first episode that we shot in the house with a guest and it looks unbelievable. Book club questions have never been good. Now they're amazing. We have three different categories fantasy, romance, and thriller. It's book club for the girlies. Some of these are really like plot heavy, other ones are fun, more pop culture references, um, kind of bringing it more into your everyday. I feel like it really makes the book come a lot, like way more alive. I love this collaboration. I'm so excited. I'm actually in LA this week that you guys are watching for some events, just things that we have going on. We have a launch event for this. So surprise, Keaton was here because we were shooting. Well, she was gonna come visit regardless, but we were shooting our collaboration. The box design is so amazing. There's little nods to fantasy, thriller, and romance, like the little swans. Like a little fairy girl. There's a little like cottage in the woods. Like that's so cute. So if you are a reader girly, you know a reader girly in your life, you need these cards. We're also going to do a giveaway. The winner is going to win one recipe journal of your choice and the book club cards. I'm my home brand a friend of mine. All you have to do is subscribe to the House Guest YouTube podcast channel and comment down below what future products that you guys want to see from a friend of mine. I'll pick the winner one week from today. Okay, today is Wednesday. I am hosting a dinner party next week. I have to finish up some launch stuff. We need to bake some more sourdough. I'm sorry that the vlogs have been so sourdough heavy lately. It's just I vlog when I'm not at my computer working and that's basically like what I do. But anyways, we are hosting a fall dinner party tomorrow night, which I'm really excited about. I'm actually gonna take y'all in here and show you. So Leatherology, they sent me. Okay, my camera died, so we're back. But Leatherology, 
they actually sent me all these placemats and these like napkin holders that are so cute like napkin rings almost and then these coasters so i'm going to set the table i definitely want to do that today i love having that out of the way we have i believe six girls so i can take two of these mats away like look at how cute these are ke oh, love of the dinner party planned. I have my notebook here. We have six people tomorrow, including myself. Our menu, we're gonna do bacon wrap dates as the starter. And then also like crostinis with whipped feta and honey because I wanna use some sourdough for that. Um, for my salad, I'm gonna do the Carol King salad like fall edition. I'm writing down my recipes in my recipe journal so I'll have them all together. Um, this particular salad, it's that pear salad. A lot of you guys have made it. And I love that one, that's a spring edition. You guys haven't made that salad. Like I've never made something that people love more ever and it's a salad, it's actually crazy. I will link the recipe below because I have an Instagram around like a TikTok and stuff of it. It's so good, but because it's the Carol King salad, it's because it's like different seasons. And I'm gonna try the fall one tomorrow. It's fennel and carrots. So, and then roasted salted almonds, rotta cheese. It actually does sound really good. I just am so attached to the spring salad. It's the best thing ever. Like, I crave it all the time. Oh my god, sometimes I add chicken. Oh, it's so good. And then for my main, I'm gonna do pumpkin pasta with brown butter and sage. So it's actually gonna be like a really easy cooking day tomorrow. Like, we really only need two lighter things in the oven, a salad, and then pasta on the stove, which is so easy. I wrote out like the TikToks that I'm gonna make as well. I started setting the table. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. I, this looks disgusting. I used to make this all the time. It's, I wish I had my other recipe journal. It's basically like healthy beef stew with like purple sweet potatoes and all this stuff. And it looks awful. Like it looks like mush, but it is so good. There's some carrots in here. I made it last night for the week when I got home. Um, the books that I have been using, this one is one of my favorite cookbooks ever. On my shop my, I'll make an entire category of my favorite cookbooks and the ones that I use the most. This one is just my go-to. What's nice about it, if you guys are hosting dinner parties, in my dinner party video, like how to step-by-step, -step, I talk about this one. They have menus. You can decide like your theme and then it has actual menus and all the recipes are in this book so anyways i love this one i was also looking at this one i got this more recently from anthropology last minute dinner party i really like it i'm not doing anything from this recipe from this cookbook this time but i'm sure i will i'm gonna get back to work i feel good about tomorrow the table is almost fully set and then i will just need to do my grocery shopping tomorrow and then also go to trader joe's to get some florals. I always get my flowers from Trader Joe's. They're my favorite, they last the longest, and they are the cheapest. I'll be getting back to work, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Here's my cute little snack. The cinnamon swirl pumpkin sugar sourdough, it's so good. This is resting for the next hour, planning the feed, editing a bunch of stuff. dress for tonight every time I have to leave my house I'm anxious but it's a rare beauty and it's mental health and I want to go so we are going my next couple of weeks are just really really crazy and with a lot of people and like out of my home and like I feel safe here so I just was getting a little bit anxious but we had a very productive day I got a lot of stuff done that you guys didn't see but I think I might do a combo we're gonna see 
I just freshened up a little bit with my little Bondi Boost like infrared thing. It's an infrared like blowout hair tool. I really, really like it. I've been using it a ton recently. And then I ended up going with this outfit, which is the one I didn't think I was going to wear. My lips love these things. This set is Abercrombie. It's very comfortable. I might bring this little like leather blazer that I'm honestly like so over, but I might want something over this. I don't know. It's this little matching skirt vest combo. It's really cute, honestly. And then I have on my Sam Edelman kitten heels that I live in at this point. Good morning, y'all. It is Friday. I'm on my way to the Katy Trail. I'm going on a walk with my dad. I'm listening to Realtors Podcast. I don't know if I talked about this in the vlog. I think I touched on it because I was watching it, but the Nobody Wants This Show, so good. My favorite, favorite podcast, Realtors Podcast. It's Aaron and Sarah Foster, and Aaron wrote the show, Sarah produced it. They're in their 40s, and they reference like their 20s a lot. I don't know, I feel like it's such a good listen. Aaron didn't meet her husband until like 40, no, 35. Um, and they found like, I don't know, their careers and their journeys have been very, very interesting. But they're finding like their success and like, their hit literally right now. Like, obviously, recently with favorite daughter, and then this. And they've had success with the show though. So I am like, their top podcast listener like i love their podcast they do like hate influencers i think and like stuff but honestly it's fine they're like dream guests of mine we need to start spamming them to come on the podcast actually well no that i think they would like literally hate me i don't know i really want them on but they don't i don't think they like influencers like they i don't think they like influencers but they're always shitting on influencers or sarah's i don't care i love her so but it's just so cool because to see the success that show has had. I have been so excited to watch this show just because I've been hearing them talk about it for so long. And it's just so cool to see, like it's blown up. I'm so happy for them. But that, with that being said, have y'all seen the show? If you haven't, you need to. It's like the number one show everywhere. And this is coming from me. I don't watch shows, okay? They have like brought back the rom-com. They're giving me hope actually because with like Sydney Sweeney's movie and then like, oh, I, why? Like, these are meant to be worn like this, but why do I feel, like, so stupid when I wear it? Like, I feel like a secret agent. Anyways, they're giving me hope for rom-coms. Like, I really think that they're going to just continue on with that. And it was just so good. It was really, really so good. And it's cool when you, like, know so much about someone. Not to be, like, a sucker, but I listen to their podcast religiously. And it's cool when you know so much about someone. And I, like, picked up on random things throughout the show that were, like, nods to different things that they like talk about or jokes or like dynamics or whatever. Anyways, it was just really cool. So I'm on my way to my walk. Today's the dinner party. And today we are prepping for the dinner party. Have the podcast episode up the YouTube videos up we did all the BTS stuff it's ready to go Carly Weinstein's on this week it's such a good episode it's like a warm hug if you feel lonely if you feel like a little bit lost if you want to make it's a really good one for like navigating your 20s but we really go into loneliness in your 20s and I think y'all are really going to like it the episode feels like a warm hug so I will link the YouTube video below and if y'all are coming from this video let me know I am like really liking my hair color. I'm really glad that I did this. I made a cute little drink. I should not be drinking this much coffee. I know, I know, I know. I made our floral arrangements. I can show y'all the dining room. The house is pretty much ready. I have a couple things that I need to do, but I'm about to head out to Sprouts. This is the table. I'm thinking it looks really cute, okay? The only thing is I don't love how the glasses look, but these are gonna be moved anyways. And I had to take one of the arrangements off because it was going to be a fire hazard. Anyways, these are my new plate, 
placemats, napkin rings, and then coasters custom from Leatherology. So cute, what a good gift. And y'all, honestly, great thing to ask her for Christmas. Great gift to give other people. Great for housewarming, like they're just so cute. I went with KE for Kenzie Elizabeth. My real initials are KP like Kim Possible. But I wanted these to be more timeless and I feel like eventually I probably will change my last name. So, loved that. These are plates from my grandparents, like their wedding china. These utensils are from at home. They're really great. Amazon, probably Amazon as well. Obviously our conversation cards are from a friend of mine. I made fall floral arrangements. I never make arrangements anymore because I have these hydrangeas all over my house, like the ones over there. I just don't need them. Um, but I wanted to make it a little bit more fall because here's the issue, like my plate wall definitely gives spring or weirdly winter. It doesn't give fall, okay? So we're just kind of making do. I have six people coming over tonight. When we start eating, we do typically take the flowers. We move them at least so everyone can see each other. But yeah, I love this table. I need to go to the grocery store. I just made my list from my recipe journal and we are good to go. I'm gonna listen to my podcast. I love listening to a podcast and going to Sprouts. One of my favorite things. I've also gathered some of these bowls, which I will use for serving. Like these will probably be pasta stuff, something along those lines. These will be apps like bacon wrap dates and crostinis. One of these will be salad. I actually don't know. We might need to get one more bowl. I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, it's all matching. It looks great. We don't really need butter, but I just love this. I think it's so cute. This loaf, there was a jalapeno one there just now. That's why there's jalapenos. It's just so incredible. Like. Oh, love this one. The recipe is on my TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff. This is our menu. I've kind of shown you all already. It's going to be very simple. Ignore my handwriting. Ignore my lips. I have some lip stain on that's not all the way off yet. Here's my dinner um, outfit of the night. I feel like all I do is vlog from this exact spot. But this is where I am in my kitchen, 98% or in my house, 98% of the time. Guys, I cannot take my lips. Seriously. Like, that is not okay. Anyways, making some pasta, about to toss a salad. I prepped all my ingredients, which I like never do. And turns out it makes your life so much easier. for LA. I'm there all week. We have a lot of work stuff. I'm also wearing, let me give you guys a better view, this new pajama set and this robe from Hill House. This is KE on it right here, embroidered. How cute. I love Hill House. Like These pajamas though, I didn't know I was going to be so obsessed with them. I got them in a large. I don't want my pajamas to even be like touching my skin, but honestly y'all, like I thought they were going to be like super, super grandma and I am grandma. Okay, don't get me wrong, but these are perfect and they're so soft. I'm in love. This robe, amazing. I have a Hill House robe, but I like this one better. So anyways, I have been prepping. Yesterday, I just worked all day. I had a lot of meetings and a lot of prep for our lunch. I don't even know what to film in my life anymore because I'm either 
baking sourdough or I'm like at my computer. I'm in this phase right now where like I don't even know what to vlog in my life. And I don't really leave my house much and then I'm just like working on house stuff and I feel like it gets so repetitive. So anytime that I'm not working, I'm like vlogging, baking sourdough or you know I'm needle pointing or something like that. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna take the week off of vlogging in LA. I need a little time and a little space away now all my outfits it happened so quickly because i had them kind of on my i had like ideas kind of hung up on my rack my workout clothes my pajamas this is six outfits only three pairs of jeans but you know we've got about so many shoes i don't even know where to begin okay and then i have a little cute lounge fit that's comfy and yeah i feel good about this i'm actually gonna have to take two suitcases because this one is gonna be full of like friend of mine product and stuff for the event that i'm not gonna end up needing so we're just gonna we're gonna do what we need to do there and then this suitcase i am not trying oh my this tag is still on here good i'm not traveling nearly as much as i have in the past but my travel routine is very quick and fast. I have my bags pretty much always packed up. Like, in here, there's always a charging bag. My makeup bags are always there. My toiletry bags are always kind of there. I never really unpack those little bags that are more compartments because I just throw them in and out of my suitcases. But I just use them out of the bags at this point now, which is fine. And then I'm going to do hair tools. I would also self-tan, but I'm actually going to self-tan it tomorrow. So y'all are not going to see that. I've been using different products for self-tanner. I don't know. I'm kind of in like a self-tanner funk. I feel like it doesn't matter what I do. My tanner just doesn't look amazing. But I did something that is the largest act of self-care, actually. And I tried on all my outfits. And I took photos of all of them. So you can see here, I have all my outfits planned for this week. And then I'll make an album for when I'm like trying to remember what I need to wear or what I need to pack. And yeah, I'm really excited this week. I'm recording another podcast episode with Brett's Bites. And then I'm also recording with Kelly Rizzo. I'm very, very excited. If y'all are watching this vlog and you're having your cute little Sunday at home, watch the new podcast episode we just dropped with Carly on the Houseguest YouTube channel. It's so good it's like a warm hug and it's it's very like vulnerable and raw of like girls in their 20s but it's also just very comforting like i listen to it because carly is so comforting and i was like oh, i feel like i can breathe you know me and my shake shack love this also for my dallas girls we're having a friend of mine event at a bookstore that's so cute it just opened up it's a romance bookstore like literally the cutest thing you've ever seen we'll be announcing it in the next couple of days why do I have the hiccups now? Oh my god. Phone's at 1%, but Jelly Roll is on Joe Rogan. I'm almost done with that. I love that man. really really exciting arrival i went to leatherology today i picked these up i mean they're unreal they're so cute i cannot wait to put them up if i have a leatherology code i don't think i do if i do it'll be linked below and then maybe i'll make like a shot by of all the frames and details and stuff that i have but i'm gonna need help to not only hang them but also i'm really gonna need help for placement so next time my mom is here We'll figure it out. I need to grab two gift bags for the podcast this week. I have other gift bags that are coming for the event, but those are just going to be mailed. So I'm just going to grab. Okay, love how organized this is. At Sprouts this week, I didn't even realize that they have a botanical interest, which this is where I buy my seeds from normally. Like these are the kinds of seeds I get, but. I saw these and I don't have cut flower gardens growing currently and last time I did the chaos method which means you just throw the seeds and see what takes and we're going to do that again. We're going to do bring home the butterflies in one and then the hummingbird haven in another. So let's see how this... Alright, hummingbird haven, wait, hummingbird haven for here. We're moving on to the bring home the butterflies. You know the TikTok trend that's like, she's probably out there cheating on me or something? And it's like, it's Sunday at 4 p.m. and this is me. You know? I need to water the plants anyways. They're not looking too hot. Like, 
those got eaten by intruders. These are looking just fine. All right, I don't have high hopes, we'll see. I'm pretty much packed besides the stuff that I'll need to pack like morning of. I don't leave until tomorrow afternoon. I'm bringing one of my friends a little needlepoint canvas and stitch. This is from Morgan Julia Designs, one of my favorite places to get needlepoint, but love this, okay? Speaking of needlepoint, I wanted to give y'all a little needlepoint update. Don't mind my hair. If I'm being 100% transparent, I just sprayed myself in the face with the hose and we're gonna move past it. Anyways, I think I showed you all this at the end of a recent vlog and it's a sourdough starter, which it's so weird. It's needlepoint meets sourdough, like hello, you know? And I did all of this on my flights that I had earlier this week. And my flight tomorrow, I'm gonna start over here. There is nothing better than needlepointing while watching like SVU on a flight. Like that, I mean, there's a lot of things. You could be not on a flight, but as far as like travel goes, I just love it. And I have this little bag that I keep with me. I like to have better project bags than this, but I just need to travel really light right now. I got this from Wheelhouse Needlepoint, by the way. I'm in love with it. It's so perfect for all my sourdough girlies. And then I also, before my flight, I make sure I have all my books downloaded. I'm still listening to Ina Garden's memoir. I actually have to be like really close to being done with it. A lot of random books downloaded because I just keep hearing people on like podcasts recommend stuff, so I downloaded them. Um, but I'm starting the Grease here because that is our book club book. It's at book club. I'm hosting it in like a week. So okay, so I know. Have y'all ever made like sourdough? Red Bulls because I would love to make like broccoli cheddar soup for book club and then have like sourdough bread bowls how cute but I don't I should look into that or I could just do like my chicken and dumplings that I normally do and they're so good oh my god like seriously I am starting a new book club because I need everyone locked in and taking it seriously and being involved okay anyways I actually need to go eat my Shake Shack and edit this video to post for y'all tomorrow and get the rest of my life in order but I hope y'all enjoyed this week's vlog I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video